Like, uh, it'd just be at least two. We got derailed like three times, I think. Like, each one was just as good as the next. <laughs> yeah. If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural stimulators are compatible with nope. both my suit and a I don't. Nope. 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 <laughs> neural stimulators. Mm. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. <laughs> What's Liara's reputation here on Ilya? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have oh. her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Oh. So, what do you remember about Liara before I go in here? She, uh... She, she, she was really about information. And, uh... Um, what kind of information? She, she wanted to learn a lot about, like, everything. Her doctorate is in, uh... The Protheans, the race of, uh, well, the race before this uh, cycle began. The dominant right. species of the galaxy in the previous cycle before the Reapers destroyed them. Right. Uh, she's also fairly young by Asari standards, uh, barely out of puberty by their comparison, but she is over 100 years old. Sure. She spent, like, 50 of those uh, doing research by herself. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, and last time, she was fairly innocent. So... You want to save? No. Have you Too faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. Oh, my. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Oh. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. I love how her voice changed for you! Immediately goes in for the hug. I love it. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. It's good to see you too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. What about you, Liara? I could use your help on this mission. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. Whoa, that was a bit snappy. Wow. What kind okay. of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, oh. if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. Oh. Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. 
All right, now, Justicar or Assassin? Which one? Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> what? I was hoping we would get Liara back. Mm. <laughs> I'm no. the big sad. Uh, are you are you able to get both of them? Hmm? Oh yeah. Just which one do you want to hear about first? Uh, let's hear about the assassin first. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Oh. Yeah. She, uh, she's hardened up a bit. I see. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. Thanks oh. for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you have those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Okay. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. All right. I'll talk to you later, Liara. All right, all right, okay, all right. Uh, sidetracked again. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All the side tracks. Okay. Fario Frontiers. Okay. Uh... Okay. First and foremost, let's talk to this. Sorry. What do you want? Sorry. Sorry. That damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. He's harmless. Which, I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. Wow, it made okay. me wonder if he really <laughs> likes me. Or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know. Because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been Asari. Non-Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy, really smart, especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun huh. to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a lot. Thank yeah. you. That is us. And he's not stopping! Now. He hasn't stopped. <laughs> you need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just going to keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. 
And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the what? terminal. Thanks for the help. But why, though? <laughs> I... Mm. Huh. Uh, that one I feel weird about. To be honest. A little bit. A little bit. Well, let's see what it is. Oh, is this a fish? Is this a fish? Cute. And toy ships? Oh! <laughs> I'm buying them all. They're mine. There's a mighty need. I have a mighty need for fish and ships. Yes. Not chips, fish and ships. Model ships. All the collectibles. Hack. 